Hello, sixth graders. How are you doing? I've got a question for you. What the fuck? No, I didn't just cuss at you. What are you talking about? Seriously, I didn't use a bad word. Here, let me write it out. F A C H. Fach. It is a German word. And it is a very proper term to be using in music class because it actually refers to an instrument. You've studied some of the ways that different instruments are classified around the world as far as how they produce their sounds. Now, we're going to talk about another aerophone. But this is one that is very unique. This aerophone can sound very different depending on who plays it. Everybody in the world plays it at some point in time. And everybody has one. What instrument might I be talking about? The human voice. Our voices are an instrument. Muscles in our throat, the vocal folds or vocal cords, actually pull apart and smack together. They vibrate when air is pushed in and out as we are exhaling. That is where the sound of the voice actually comes from. Now, about the not-so-dirty German word, that is another way of also saying in English, the voice type. In other words, how high or low is the sound? And what gender, what, what, is it a man's voice or a woman's voice that would make that sound? Now, in the classical world of singing, in the operatic world, there are numerous subdivisions. There are over 30 different Fox in German voice classification for classical singers based on not only how high or low the sound is and whether or not you're a man or a woman, but also upon the idea of exactly how your voice is colored, like how bright the sound is, how dark the sound is, um, little hints of things that can be done for subtleties of your voice, because every instrument is different. We all have a voice. We all could sing the same pitch. We could sing the same note. But it would sound different for each person. Right? So that's why in Germany they have so many. But in general, when people are talking about their voice type, there are four basic classifications. Two for women, two for men. The two for women are the soprano and the alto. The two for the men are the tenor and the bass. Sometimes we have some things put in between. Like if there's a person who is somewhere right in the middle of soprano and alto, they're often called a mezzo soprano. Mezzo is an Italian word that goes in there that means somewhat. So, or in between, okay? For men, we don't use mezzo. We use the term if you have a, a voice that lies somewhere in between the tenor, the high men's voice, and the bass, the low men's voice, often they are referred to as being baritones. Now, I want you to think about what your own voice might be classified as. Think about the voices around you. Listen to your family speak. Think about what their voice type might be. By the way, you heard me use German, and you also heard me use English, but you heard me use some Italian words, which are pretty common, 
Italian is often called the language of music because a lot of music developed in Italy. And so a lot of terms that are used in music are also Italian. There is a Italian word which also means the same thing as fach. It is set, called tessitura. Longer word, a little trickier to say. Say it again. Tessitura. Now, whether you hear somebody refer to a tessitura, a fach, or a voice type, they're all talking about the same thing. Your assignments, you will notice, is to watch a video that tells a little bit more in detail about the human voice and these voice types. There's also some questions to answer to go along with that video to prove that you understand and you followed along with the video. Then, your project is to actually listen to a number of music samples from both the classical and the more popular music realm and see if you can classify those voice types by listening. Then you get to be the explorers and you get to find some examples on your own and share them with me so that I know not only can you hear it when I give it to you, but you can process that information and understand and turn it around and be able to explain it to somebody else too. That and honestly, when you guys give me musical examples that you come up with, often I'm exposed to new music that I'm not familiar with and I always enjoy that. So, yes, I will be listening to the examples that you come up with just to see, number one, whether or not I think that you've got the right idea in understanding how the voice types work. And two to make sure that you can take and synthesize and process and use that knowledge. Now, no, I didn't cuss at you. And no, I'm not cussing at you again. But I'm going to tell you all to go fach everything around. Have a good week and I'll see you later.